hit the like button and it said this action is not available or uh-huh. something <laughs> it's really but i do want to say one thing if, if you don't mind because the russians said something and i think americans would be really shocked they said we know that the americans think that everything in the world revolves around who's going to be the next president of the united states but actually far more important than the u.s election is the BRICS summit which is happening october 22nd to 24th in kazan russia And I forget all the figures, but these nations, now that they have four more nations, they control something like 71% of the world's, I don't know if it's grain or oil or steel, but they they have more than half the market on most of the major commodities that we need. And So this is something I've been paying attention to for almost the last two years, ever since uh, uh, the Jimmy Dore show brought it up, that these nations have came together um when the war in ukraine began and they said all right we're tired of the sanctions being brought on us because you're screwing us over with the dollar um because if you understand like the dollar is the world's reserve currency so all nations have to have the dollar in their you know nations and when they go to trade with other countries they have to trade their dollar their whatever their currency is to the u.s dollar and then trade it with other nations so when they get these, um, these um, what do they call those things, um, sanctions put on them, they're not allowed to trade the U.S. dollar. So they came up with their own dollar to get around using the U.S. dollar that these nations, these nations have agreed upon. And I always thought it was interesting because I'm like, hmm, are these the nations that the book of Ezekiel is talking about? You know, when that one ruler comes and um, or that one king, I'm sorry, not ruler, that one king comes and he smashes, quote unquote, Israel, right? And, um, you know, I watched videos where pastors and people tried to break it down. Oh, this nation is Russia. And then out of Russia, there's going to be a, a smaller nation that's going to be the head of this um, army that's going to come and conquer everything. In the U.S., there's this, they're not listed, but they're this other nation um, that's here. And it's going to be the, the world versus the United States great britain and israel so i always thought that was interesting just who like they establish who russia is but they don't make mention that china is involved in this but i go back i draw back on like on like old movies that i've watched and they always have like an asian nation invading you know um red dawn the newest one I believe it was, uh, who was it, Korea or somebody like that was invading um, in the new movie. Um, but they, like, like when they break down the scriptures, the scripture doesn't say it's China invading, which I thought was interesting. But we know China has bought up, you know, this land throughout the United States or North America. I don't like the term United States, but they bought up this land throughout North America. And, you know, they talk about how they're outside of military bases and they basically have a, a, a police state in New York City and other places. Um, they mentioned Chicago. So I was just thinking that's always interesting whenever they start to bring up Brexit and what Brexit is doing. Because, again, like they're going to mention here in North America, we're not taught anything about Brexit when it comes really like it's not in the news or on the big four news networks. So I was like, why are they keeping what Brexit is doing, you know, in the dark? to the everyday people why did they go to like these other sources to learn about it you know so watch this meeting uh and, and i think that's one reason they want to blow up iran i think that's a reason why they want to really get israel to start a war with iran because iran well don't forget iran is still on the gold back right like how uh well muammar Gaddafi tried to do in africa right tried to come up with a currency that was based on gold and not the petrodollar, not the U.S. dollar, right? And look what they did to him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And Iran is one of the last nations that's still on the gold standard. So you've wiped out all other nations that use the gold standard. Now you have one nation left. And what's interesting is that the Brexit is supposed to, supposed to, their dollar is supposed to be gold and gold-backed. Members of the BRICS. Uh, that makes sense. Donald Trump actually said something sensible about Iran the other day. Did you see that? 
Uh-uh. What did he say? No, what he said was that we shouldn't be trying to govern Iran, that we can't govern ourselves, so why are we trying to govern another nation? Okay. You know, people make the point that Donald Trump is the only president in I don't know how many years of presidents that never started a war. So. Um, uh, he said that... Uh... He said something like, "We can't, you know, we we can't, we we can't." What did he say? Yeah, we got, we can't even run our own country. We shouldn't try to run Iran, right? We shouldn't yes. try to pick their. Yeah, it was something like that. I'd have to. Uh, I can't believe I didn't. Why? What? Yeah. Yeah. Why am I not covering that? That should be covered today. What the hell? Yeah, Melgar, when you get that ready, let's do that. That that's something that's interesting. Let's do that. I don't know why I didn't cover that. Um, okay, well, Diane, uh... So, I was watching some Kung Fu movies <laughs> today, and I watched this movie, um, Shaolin, or no, Kung Fu of Shaolin, which, I mean, only reason I even understood what Shaolin was, you know, through the Wu-Tang Clan, okay? Never really cared to look into it, because never really thought of anything much about it. But I thought this was interesting when I looked it up. It was Shaolin Zion? Um, where was it? It was a movie. Let me see if I can find it. Well, hold on. This wasn't it. Okay. Is this it? And called uh, Kung Fu and Shaolin, called in Spanish translation. It is. Wait, wait, what? This is the movie, but I wanted to. Um, I didn't read this article earlier. Last night I watched quite a good film, the best comedy probably I've watched in a long time, that I'd like to recommend. It's Kung Fu. Kung Fu Cyan called in the Spanish translation and is a Chinese comedy with lots of very good martial arts fighting and with some scenes very, very funny. I had a good laugh watching it. Okay, so we'll Kung Fu and Cyan, not Zion, because that's not the right name. It's Cyan. Why would they make a movie? Here it is. So it's in North America. It's sold in North America. I've never seen it, but I'm gonna check this movie out when I can, just to, just to see why they're dropping, why they're, why they're gonna call it, why they call it Scion, because that doesn't make any sense, you know, in the normal way of looking at things, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna play this before I play scenes from this movie. I don't know if YouTube will let me put this up because, like I said, they're really bad on my page when it comes to... It was ever since I, I put up a video about uh, Israel um, or the, the, the place over in the Middle East called Israel. And um, it was an old take and it had some... I, I just don't remember what it was about now. I know it was important because that's the reason why I used it. But ever since then, like, I've been shadow banned on YouTube, like... <laughs> like the I don't know how to say it like ever since then uh, if I put up something they have no problem striking it like that was for a while last year I was getting strikes like one right after the other one two and I couldn't post for a while I just had to sit there and wait for the time limit so I could post again and I was like I don't get it <laughs> I'm not stealing their work I'm not making money of this I don't I, I don't financially benefit from it I don't monetize my videos so, like, I'm just showing what I'm seeing. And they were like, nope, nope, don't show this to other people. You keep those thoughts to yourself. So, I'm going to try it again. Fair use. One of the stories of the wall paint.
Since olden times, there have been many legends of Shaolin. Let me pause this... it. Let me pause it. Let me see if I can brighten this up. So in the beginning of this right there, look at this cat. All of them are pale, pale, pale. Got some melanin, got some melanin. Pale, 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 yellowish. But look right there, dark skinned dude. Oh, but it gets even better. It gets even better because you say, oh, you're just nitpicking, right? It gets even better, watch. Since olden times, there have been many legends of Shaolin. This film is based on one of the stories of the- right. This is what, I'm not talking about this. this. They literally show that old temple that I did when I first did a video, right, when I was looking into this and I was like, there's something really to that. Because it, it, I mean, it all goes back to Lex Will. Lex Will was doing a video and he was ending the video and he was like, he looked into Tiger Woods. He looked into, he looked into somebody else, but he looked into Tiger Woods at the end. And that's the way the video ended. And he was going over the, the term Afro-Asiatic. And that's what clicked in my head. Like, okay, let's look at this. And that's when I was like, all right, there's something really to all this Asia stuff, right? Look at that guy. Where are the Asians that are that dark in any of the history? They act like Asia was just some land that was untouched. Untouched by anybody. Everybody else was trading. Everybody else was trading, had trade routes. Not China. I mean, I know that's an oxymoron. You know, they had the the Silk Road, but like they're acting like nobody else went into China and lived there. Nobody else but the Chinese were there, and people look like that. And you know that's that's a that's like a war, like something should go off in your head. Now look at this. Look at this character right here. They look at all the other characters. They're on the walls over there. Wall paintings. How the 13 monks saved the Tang Emperor. All right, so let's stop that. So here it is. I had the name wrong. The Shaolin Temple. Shou. Sha. Lin. Shaolin. They say it twice. Everyone. And so now you have been purified. I hereby give you the Ten Commandments, but first learn to respect yourselves and others. Give me your name. He gives them the Ten Commandments? I mean, you could have said the Twenty Commandments, the Thirty Commandments. This is Buddhism, right? Ten Commandments. This is what struck my attention. It caught my accord, and I'm like, all right, I gotta watch the rest of this movie, right? And I'll give the I'll give the plot away. Okay, this is the story of Moses. Jet Li's character here is the Moses character. This is the story of Moses, but from their perspective. Chu Yun. The first is that thou shalt not murder. Do you understand? Can you obey this? Thou shalt not murder. Can you obey this? Thou shalt not murder. Can you obey this? What did Moses do right before he left Egypt? <laughs> Watch. Oh, sorry. Dogs, quack. Rebellion sprang up at the end of the Sioux dynasty, and the country became divided amongst the various factions. So he says rebellion sprung up at the end of the Sioux dynasty. Okay, and I'm not going to play all this because, like I said, I'm just weary about copyrights. But this is basically Moses watches, or not Moses, wow, this character, um, the Sioux, whatever his name is, he's going to watch his father be murdered by the slave master. And, and he escapes. So I'll play a little bit of it here. The traitor from the Sioux Empire, Wang Si Chong, installed himself at the East Capitol, calling himself Emperor Chang. Where His cruel he? regime deeply oppressed hey. people. Hey. Come on, get working. Huh. Li Ximing and his troops are now near the river. How can we complete the defenses with such poor workers? I wish to report, sir. We couldn't get more men. 
We've used all the prisoners, even the sick. You can use those rebels, that Kung Fu master, and his men. Sir. Move! They're moving! You two! crossing the desert <laughs> Moses fleeing Egypt right crosses over so he can go into the land where Jethro was right and I, I looked at my wife and I was like he better not meet a girl <laughs> that's the tending sheep that's his love that will become his love interest in this movie but that comes later so I skipped ahead at this point he's rescued by the Buddhist monks he's taken in they're nursing him back to, to health, and this is where the movie's gonna pick up, right? Ooh, I shouldn't play that part, it's got a song in it. Let's see, skip ahead. Let's see, alright, so here's a girl, and she has sheep. <laughs> She's still singing. Uh, like I said, you can see she has sheep, she's shepherding. I'm like, yo, this is the story of Moses. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> picks up here and I thought this scene was interesting I've come to find out this is a graveyard and I've never seen a graveyard look like this but I was like that was interesting they have the monks in there sweeping watch this look at that you see how big they are compared to the people like look you see him look how big these are And it started making me think of like the Book of Kings and stuff like that, right? And they, when they talk about, you know, I'm going to be buried, you know, down in, um, you know, with the other kings in this valley and so on and so forth. That's what it came to mind, but I've never seen graveyards look like that. And I was like, that's crazy. See what's all there? It's me. What are you doing? Uh, I went to go to the river. This graveyard is sanctified ground. Nobody's allowed here without permission. Now go. Yes. So he spoiled her. Master, I'll kill Wang Ying Chi. Please teach me Kung Fu. We have rules. Shaolin Kung Fu is for defense, not for killing. Also, you're not a monk. I... Master, I want to be a monk.
Thou shalt not kill. It bid me. Our doors are open to good people. This man has a bad look about him. Our temple cannot afford to accept him. Buddha teaches us to be merciful. Choyun is willing. Cut off all his hair. Buddha bless him. <laughs> Leave all evil behind. And enter into Buddha. And care for all living things. There it is. Look at that. This is better than the uh, the, the, the video they showed on uh, the, the oldest Kung Fu temple. Look at them. Look at them. <laughs> All over the walls. And it gets even better. I mean, they show you other, like, it's going to get even better. All over the walls. Where are those people today? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. All over the walls. Now, how do they practice Kung Fu in this temple? And not look at the walls and say, we don't look like them. <laughs> 